I don't know that much about Johnny Cochran. Not paying much attention to mainstream media. Well, he seemed to be a celebrity attorney in the judge side of media. And his role, Johnny Cochran, was the one that Obama was called upon to say Reagan didn't know and so on. He was for the Jeff and Pimp Stodd of the Compromise Taliban. And like when Greta Thunberg showed up as like a, the calamity Jane of COVID-19, she got a kind of catechism by meeting with Obama. Obama was the intersectional circuitry of Midori Goto in the Pussy Ball War Game. The Sin War, so to speak. And um, was, she was a UN Peace Ambassador. I mean, these were the big wigs throwing around. Chief told him of the, you know, they, when the Stones played the Super Bowl in Detroit, they had to go through a wall of sound, the black recording artists. Nah! It's real bad when you're nobody who has nothing who they have things to hide about having done to. A nobody who has nothing who they have things to hide about having done to. And they have Oliver Stone at the control panel. And he says any myth is as good as any other myth. If it can be sold, it's a plastic reality. So they make things up. Make them up. You can't disprove them, so how do we know they ain't true? Ha ha ha. It's like the laughing man who jumps out of a magic hat. I call it a whisper campaign. Deaf people do not hear whispers. They say it's sacred voodoo medicine. Who's the ancestor of Doctari? Well, of course, that's Bush and Rumsfeld. Karl Rove, which is... Japanese mispronunciation of love, love. I'm trying to answer get weird circuitry and stuff, you know. Pub Carl had a franchise going in. And it amounts to the Licky Chops as the driving force for the lemmings so that the sinners are evaporated on their own sin. No, -uh -uh. it's the Pope. And a lot of it had to do with 
what they call, well, removable singularities was a metaphor we now know from Lennon Zudini. Higgs Mills equation stuff that they used in 87. Right. After I came up with the term "licky chops," they poured me in the gum, so I have to, I'm licking them all the time. You know, that's the, the sort of malice that's involved in the crimes. But it comes down to John Rawls's closest continuer idea. I am the walrus. It's like passing lateral pass to the next guy, right? Because um, UW Dialectical believes, you know, in faith-based collectivism and stuff. Nah, 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 nah. George Bush, if you want to be communist, we'll give you communism. It's like those guys in Israel, if you want hell, we'll give you hell. It, it, it's just arrogant strategy, but it was the idea that Bush, after being involved in the assassination of Kennedy somehow, um, there's the specifics are not all that hard to come by. He, his name was in Des Moines, Schiff's diary, and his phone number was. And he, somebody, his namesake was advised and used in by J. Edgar Hoover. And the script of the Texas school book was found on the son of someone from the San Jacinto. So they kill King. I think it was Dickie Loach. I've never been able to corroborate it. Somebody said... After we get rid of King, we have to find somebody more inimical to our cause. And, of course, that's the drone warrior. Obama goes up the elevator as an installation on Dr. King's coattails. And he's as good. He's the closest continuer in Rawls' theory. And I thought that's what you wanted, JFK. Don't you want the black man on high? If you didn't want to lose Midori to the black man, why did you get seduced by the honorary, the um, uh, honorary, the uh, Cesar Chavez, Rosa Clemente starlet? Why did you get seduced? If you didn't want the black man to make off with the symbol of life, this is the stuff that goes on in Penis Gabriel's head, and we and we got the the you know the the kiddies in the sack kicking at, at the pillowcase basically. It's a nut job that was performed on us by the Rolling Stones and them. <laughs> 